Just having a cup of hot chocolate with coconut oil and omega-3 oil uh, and cinnamon. And with my dad, he's going to go to work at about 6.30 in three minutes. When you, is that when you go to work? Yeah. All right. Good morning. Hey, I'm feeling good today. Hopefully my skin heals. Because when it heals, I'm moving out of my house and gonna live, I'm going to live in my car. That's not a joke. I'm going to go live in my car, get a job, and get a house as soon as possible. <laughs> Jonathan and Gabri are watching uh, Ready Player One. Um, it's a video game movie. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, tell you that I'm going to be living in my car the second my skin's healed. And it's going to be lit. Just got to my acupuncture appointment and lymph massage appointment. Uh, this person at Parker Natural Medicine is one of the best doctors I've ever seen. He practices Chinese medicine. Hopefully he'll let me... Uh, ask him a couple questions on camera. I don't know, but yeah, he's a great dude. His name's Dr. Gilchrist or James Gilchrist He's pretty cool and Yeah, he got me some Chinese herbs and Chinese food to eat To help my skin. So this is Dr. Gilchrist and He's uh, with Parker Natural Medicine. Parker Natural Medicine is a great place. Parker, Colorado um, He's gonna do a blood draw on me to test for allergies and acupuncture later. I had a pretty interesting appointment at the acupuncturist and while I uh, had the acupuncture needles inside of me they leave you in the room to like meditate and for some reason while I was meditating I started thinking about like my mom and dad and my brothers and I th started thinking about them if they had cancer and they were like on chemo and terminal so like, I saw my pictured my mom like bald like bags under her eyes weak and dying and like I started crying while I was in the acupuncture place and it was pretty embarrassing but uh, it was I think it was important for me to like start exploring those types of like emotions I guess because I think the reason I'm sick with this eczema is because I try to like be tough and I try to like not feel emotion like sad, sad emotions or negative emotions and my body's kind of like forcing me to feel negativity <laughs> with my skin that's just a theory I'm not really sure how that if that's true but um the thing about like pretending everything's okay all the time is that you're lying to yourself and it, like it's just avoiding like real emotions I guess and avoiding that balance that you need between like good and bad and I realized like laughter and crying are pretty similar emotions and I do a lot more laughing than I do crying and what and I kinda like troll myself like I laugh at myself when I'm sick, and I laugh at other people when they're sad or upset, and that's terrible. And I just need to, I need to stop trolling and mocking and making fun of things, and take things a little bit uh, more, I, more seriously, I guess, and see things in a better light, and quit avoiding emotions. Like, that's part of the reason I'm also sick. It's because, like, I avoid my emotions. Well, like, when I was younger, I avoided my emotions by eating too, eating too much and eating junk food. Junk food tasted great, and it made me feel good. And it alleviated boredom, which was the main, like, negative emotion that I was definitely trying to escape. And it didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. I just... It's important to have balance. This vlog took a weird note, took a weird turn. Thought it was gonna be a happy day, happy acupuncture day, but got it. Got some reflecting to do. 
currently making a cabbage and a uh, cabbage burrito. There's uh, cheese, cumin, black pepper, and salt on this flaxseed tortilla. It's gonna be good. It's time for me to take a nap. My bed during the day is the best place. It gives me some time to meditate and just get some extra rest and heal. That's most importantly. Where are we dropping? Where are we dropping? Oh, the Honda Civic. It's in the grass and it looks like it died. It's relaxing. Over here relaxing. I mean, if it was relaxing, I'd, I mean like, yeah, it looks like it's alive. That's pretty fun. Jonathan's favorite animal is a rabbit. It's a relaxing rabbit. Oh, look at that. He's taking a picture of it. Taking a video. All right. Well. It's a relaxing rabbit. That rabbit happened. Oh, we got a garden. Growing some kale. It's a relaxing rabbit. Tomatoes and spinach. Uh, Beautiful. Oh, you're vlogging. Not going you, too good. Guys. I'm going to. Yeah, this rabbit might be going into labor. Got to make sure it stays safe and has success in whatever it wants to do, hopefully. This is my dog, Quincy, wait. Speak. Speak. Good boy. He knows how to talk. Uh, he also knows how to lay down. Down. Yeah, I trained him. I taught him all the tricks he knows. Look at that face. All this healthy food. <gasps> what? Sit. Shake. Good boy. Other shake. Good boy. Other shake. Good boy. Other shake. Good boy. High five. Okay. Down. Down. Speak. Good boy. Having a stir fry burrito. Gotta take tiny bites so I can have more chews per calorie. The Chinese medicine doctor gave me some grains to put in the pressure cooker. Okay. This is the best pressure cooker ever. What's up, Dad? Hey. YouTube. I'm making a sweet potato for dinner. Just wanted to sign off for the day so I can enjoy my sweet potato. Like and subscribe. I'm trying to be the number one health channel on YouTube. Adios. Right.